Welcome to Databytes. In this episode, I'll show you how to send your Amazon CloudFront distribution access logs to New Relic. Amazon CloudFront is a content delivery network services provider for media and software delivery and cloud security solutions. CloudFront is a web service that speeds up distribution of your static and dynamic web content to your users. For this Databyte, I'm only going to cover how to enable logging for an existing, already created CloudFront distribution. It also assumes you have all the necessary AWS administrative permissions to perform the tasks involved. In the data byte description, you'll find links to our docs with detailed step-by-step -step instructions. After showing you how to get your logs to New Relic, we'll also install a quick start to easily get instant visibility into your CloudFront access logs. The quick start comes with a handy pre-made dashboard with interactive visualizations. As with all our quick starts, you can easily customize the dashboard once installed in your account. You can also create alerts to further enhance your CDN monitoring capabilities. There are two options for sending CloudFront access logs to New Relic, standard logs or real-time logs. Standard logs are sent from CloudFront to an S3 bucket where they are stored. You would then use our AWS Lambda trigger to send the logs from S3 to New Relic. Real-time logs are sent within seconds of receiving requests using a Kinesis Data Stream consumer and a Kinesis Data Firehose for delivery to New Relic. Real-time logs are configurable and allow you to configure a sampling rate, select specific fields to receive in the log records, and define specific cache behaviors or path patterns that you want to receive logs for. Real-time logs also require an S3 backup bucket for sending either all data or failed data only. Let's get started. For either standard or real-time logs, the first thing you'll need is an S3 bucket. In the AWS Management Console, select Services, S3 and then create bucket. Enter a globally unique bucket name, select a region, choose ACLs enabled in the object ownership section, and then create bucket. Note, if you're going to use standard logging, the S3 bucket and your AWS Lambda trigger must be in the same AWS region. Now we can enable CloudFront standard logs. In the AWS Management Console, go to Services, CloudFront. Click your distribution ID, and in the Settings section of the General tab, select Edit. Scroll down and select On for standard logging. Search for and select the S3 bucket you just created. You have the option to select a log prefix. For this, I will enter CloudFront Logs. Choose Save Changes, and you are done. Within five minutes, you should see some logs appear in your S3 bucket, provided you have active traffic making requests to your distribution. To send the logs from the S3 bucket to New Relic, first you must install the AWS S3 Ingestion Lambda integration. Follow the instructions from our docs to install the Lambda function. Once installed, click on the function name to edit it and select the Add Trigger button. For trigger configuration, select S3 from the dropdown and then search for and enter the S3 bucket you created earlier. Enter the CloudFront logs prefix we used earlier when configuring logging for our distribution. Check the Acknowledgement option for Recursive Invocation, and then choose Add. From the menu on the left, select the Environment Variables option, and then Edit. Enter your New Relic Ingest API key, and for the Log Type variable, enter CloudFront-Web. Using this log type will trigger our built-in parsing rule for CloudFront logs when ingested. Within five minutes, you should begin to see logs in your New Relic account. To validate, search for Log Type CloudFront-Web in the Logs UI. If you choose to configure real-time logs, our recommended method, the next step after creating the S3 bucket is to configure an AWS Kinesis data stream and delivery stream. From the AWS Management Console, select Services Kinesis, then select Create Data Stream. Enter a name, like CloudFront-Data Stream, select a capacity mode, and then select Create Data Stream. In the Consumer section at the bottom, choose the option to Process with Delivery Stream. For destination, select New Relic from the drop-down menu and enter a name, like CloudFront-DeliveryStream. In the Destination Settings section, select the appropriate logs HTTP endpoint URL for your account and enter your New Relic Ingest API key. Select Add Parameter and enter Log Type for the key and CloudFront-RTL for the value. In the Backup Settings section, you can choose to store failed data only or all data in your S3 bucket. Enter the S3 bucket we created earlier and an optional output prefix, and then select Create Delivery Stream. As with standard logs, 
using the CloudFront RTL log type attribute will trigger our built in parsing rule for your logs at ingest. See our docs for more details on real time logs parsing, especially if you choose not to log all parameters in the next step. Next, return to CloudFront in the AWS Management Console and select Logs from the Telemetry section on the left. In the Real Time Configuration tabs, choose Create Configuration. Enter a name, like CloudFront RTL Logs, and enter a sampling rate between 1 and 100. This is the percentage of logs that will be delivered. Next, select the fields you wish to log in your events. You can choose all fields or a subset of fields. Remember to check our docs for details around parsing the logs if you only choose a subset of the fields. For the endpoint, select the Kinesis data stream we just created in the previous step, CloudFront data stream. In the distribution section, choose your CloudFront distribution ID and select the default cache behaviors configuration and then create configuration. Within a couple minutes, you should begin to see logs in your New Relic account. To validate, search for log type CloudFront-RTL in the Logs UI. Now that you are receiving your CloudFront logs, you could query and build charts manually, but luckily you don't even have to do that thanks to our Amazon CloudFront Web Logs Quick Start dashboard. To install the dashboard, select Add More Data from your Account Settings menu. Search for CloudFront and then select the Amazon CloudFront Web Logs Quick Start. Select the account you want to install it in and click Done. That's it. You now have a pre-built dashboard with overview, client information, and performance information. You can use the dashboard as is or customize it to suit your preferences. Today we saw how easy it is to send your Amazon CloudFront Web Access Logs to New Relic and to install our Quick Start dashboard for instant insight. Thanks for watching. Check out the links in the description for more resources and join us for another data bite in the future.